If you live in the United States, it's abundantly clear tis the season to give. You go out to your mailbox and you have hundreds of requests from worthy nonprofits. But I have a question for you. Which nonprofits do you think do the most with your money? And do you think that that fact goes through your donor's mind, wondering what you're going to do with the money and how much of their donation is going to actually go to your cause? Well, this is Joy Olson of Blockbuster Fundraising here on our countdown to 2016 fundraising success, your success. And let's look at this question and why it comes up today. Some days I wake up and take an entirely different action in the daily tips. And this morning is one such occasion. I was watching the CBS Sunday morning show, which I love. And it's the food issue, which I sort of love, but oh boy, there was a story that I major loved about the giving kitchen. And it really made me think about this subject. How much of the donor's dollars go to work for our cause? Go to this link and and read about the giving kitchen. Read about Jen and Ryan's story. You're going to love it. It's going to make you happy. It's going to make you cry. And you're going to be astounded by what happened, really. And and really, what happened was devastating. Ryan uh, was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. And then what happened was amazing. The response to his diagnosis, initially from his friends within the restaurant industry, and then quickly from an ever-expanding community across Atlanta, like a a crowdfunder, a peer-to-peer fundraising experience, it was an outpouring of love and financial support that would help with expenses not covered by insurance. But what happened after that The community's beyond expectation response to this crisis moment set the intent, beliefs, and values of the Giving Kitchen, which now gives back 100% to nonprofits, to people that need help. It's a beautiful story. This beautiful story made me wonder. Which nonprofits do the most with donors' money? We all know that the end of the year is a great time to give because not only does the holiday season create a spirit of charity and generosity, but it also provides our donors with one last chance to make contributions that can be deducted on their 2016 tax return. However, not all charities spend donors' dollars wisely. The best charities use donations to make the biggest impact, ensuring that they do the most good with their funds. So what are some tips to identify best charities? And hopefully, you are one of them. Tools like Charity Navigator and GuideStar help donors find out how much of their contribution is dedicated to the charitable mission. Here's a quote from a financial planner. The first thing I would look at is how much of every dollar actually goes to that charitable cause, opposed to how much is eaten up by management fees, costs, or marketing costs. If at least 70 to 80 cents of every dollar in donations is directed to the cause, that's a good sign. And numbers above that are great. So, how do you measure up? Secondly, is the charity financially sound? Many charities publish the annual financial reports on earnings, donations, and expenses for donors to peruse. But you also want to see whether the charity is experiencing revenue growth. 
is the charity growing year in and year out? You want to make sure that the charity has an attainable mission and is realistic. Is that you? How transparent is the charity? If somebody calls you and asks about your numbers, do you have a, an explanation? There are certainly reasons why charity's most recent numbers might be less favorable than you hope for, but if the staff can talk about these numbers and explain it, your donors gain insight in, into how open and transparent your organization actually is. Probably the very, very most important factor in a donor picking a charity is how passionate they feel about your mission. So how well are you telling your mission's story? Are you making your mission story absolutely easy to be close to your donor's heart? Quote, it's not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving, end quote. And your donors love you because you love what you're doing. And you show them the wonderful impact that they're having and the fabulous good you are doing together. Year End Appeals should really be dedicated to love stories the love story about your mission, and the love story about your impact. You are going to have certain donors that are going to want to understand their donation travel, how much is going to go directly to the cause. So this is a great space to have on your website to direct them to, to give them a pie chart, to let them know how their donation is being used. Thanks for having been here today. This is Joy Olson of Blockbuster Fundraising on our countdown to your 2016 fundraising success. You have 42 days left in 2016 to meet, your, to meet and surpass your fundraising goals. 10 days left to Giving Tuesday. Wishing you lots of good luck in every one of your fundraising endeavors and hope to see you again tomorrow with another daily tip to cheer you on, a creative idea, a best practice, something that will make your fundraising day just a little bit better. Bye-bye and thanks.